Today we're going to talk about threats in our ongoing discussion of threat modeling. Uh, this is really kind of where everybody's been waiting to get here, get to this point, right? The rest is, you know, uh, documentation and we're gathering all this data and we're um, doing all this, um, you know, these things before we actually get to the really cool part of threat modeling, right? Um, three, p three pieces we need to discuss today. One is threat generation, the second is threat analysis, and the third is uh, threat response. So, threat generation. You can generate threats based on the data that we've, the, that we've acquired so far. You can generate them in two ways. Automatically, uh, through a tool like the Microsoft uh, Tools, um, or you can use brainstorming. Now, um, I think that uh, uh, the best way is to use a, a combination of two of those things, right? So, so the Microsoft tool basically says that for every step in a use case that we've defined, um, they're going to generate a confidentiality and an integrity and an availability threat for each of those steps, right? So you, every step, if there's 14 steps in a use case and there's three of those uh, confidentiality, integrity, and availability threats per each step, then you've got, you multiply them out, right? Now in their latest version of their tool, they actually consolidated those out in so that um, they have one threat and it has three aspects to it, right? Confidentiality, integrity, and availability. But it's the same thing, it's three threats per um, step in the use case. Uh, the brainstorming is actually uh, has, in my experience, you, we've discovered the most um, troubling threats by brainstorming. It's when people in the room are just sitting there, they kind of lean back in their chair, they stroke their chin, and they look up at the clouds and go, hmm, I wonder what if, and then, and then here comes the threat. So I think a combination of both needs, needs to happen. First of all, uh, if you know what you're doing, then the threat gen the, the brainstorming is going to be the best way to go uh, in, and supplemented with the automatic threat generation. Threat analysis. We use, uh, uh, don't email me about how dread is not complete and it's ancient, blah, 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 yeah, okay, don't care, right? Here's the point. Dread is one way of, uh, categorizing your threats, right? So dread is discoverability, reproducibility, exploitability, affected users, and damage potential. You give each aspect of that a high, medium, or low. So you say, um, how easy is it for somebody to discover that this, this uh, vulnerability exists and that they could capitalize on it? Is it a high, a medium, or low, right? You have the discussion with everybody in the room. You go through each of those uh, uh, letters in the acronym and you come up with a score, right? So you Figure out a calculation that says uh, this is equal to three, that's equal to two, doesn't matter. The point is you consistently implement it, you consistently discuss it with everybody in the room, and you come out with a score, that's 49, right? That's your score. Um, once you have that score, then you can relatively uh, rank those. The next thing you do is you say, what are we gonna do about that now? You've got a threat that ranks a 49, right? What are we gonna do? They can do one of four things, they can say, I'll accept that risk. And we talked before about they better be able to accept the monetary amount of that threat. Uh, second, they can say, I'll transfer that. And that means I'll either say it's somebody else's problem or I'll buy insurance for it. The third thing they could, they could do is they could say, we're gonna mitigate it. And that's 90 90% of the time what we do. They say, what would it take to mitigate this threat? And the security people will say, well, um, encrypt, um, logins, uh, stronger logins, put a firewall in, whatever it happens to be. And the fourth one is that we'll avoid that threat, and that virtually never happens, right? Um, that means we'll get out of the business of doing what we're doing right now um, that's incurring this threat. So uh, if you're a, a banking uh, institution, they'll say, well, we'll get out of the banking business so that we don't have the threat of somebody logging in, and hacking in, and stealing our data, right? So virtually never do you have that happen. Those are the, the four different ways that you can respond to the threats. Threat generation, automatic or brainstorming. Threat analysis, use something consistently. And threat response, avoid, accept, transfer, or mitigate. That's it for today. Thank you.